Hello friends. It's today we'll discuss about a custom decorator that we have in TypeScript or in Angular latest. You, you must have seen the add rate component, uh, this type of things. These all are decorators, right? We'll have some features there, uh, some properties there like uh, selector, template URL or, or template or style URL, this kind of thing. So these are the property of this uh, decorator. So we can definitely use our or create our own custom decorator that is very useful in some situation where you can like say um, uh, print kind of log or any kind of unsubscription you need to do on destroy. So this time uh, at that time it will be very helpful. I'll show you some small example here. So so this is the class of what I have the home component and in that home component only I have this empty function blocks the lifecycle hooks and this is the template uh, if I go to the template of this home component you will see I have given some username and the name though I don't have this variable defined in my ts file component file as you can see uh, the output is uh, given the hello username here hello Ellen and the name one variable I have printed out so how this is coming I have created one custom decorator that is the seal my class or you can change this something like uh, my decorator class so it will be my decorator class and I will be importing it from this test decorator now let's give the name here and see uh, yeah it's working perfectly so now uh, what is this doing uh, this decorator class so this is simply function block which I am exporting from this file and this is a factory method it's returning I, within this I have the constructor that is the constructor for this uh, entire home component class to, uh, inside which I will have the life cycles hooks which I have used and say here I have also using injector I have used this user service so what I have in this user service I only have a get uh, setter func uh, getter function which will return only the user name Alan that's all and uh, I'm using it like uh, getting the user info so uh, by calling this function and here using object.define property I'm adding the value name and username in the constructor prototype and what will the value the value will be first one for this name the value will be which is coming in the config so this one and this is essentially will be this one so this is the property I defined in the custom decorator and now I have another name to set that is the username which is I am getting from the user info service. So this one I to set uh, in this decorator and now the, uh, let's go to this component here see I don't have anything still these things are available here. Right, so uh, this is one scenario where you can uh, use such kind of thing. So this is just one example uh, but uh, the decorator is a very powerful thing and uh, you can do multiple things with this. Uh, hopefully this will give you some idea what decorator is uh, thank you thanks for watching this video thank